It's a beautiful sunny day, but it's pretty crisp. It was only 48 degrees in the car coming up. And now it's saying it's 50. Um, they're probably, it's predicted to warm up to the mid 50s as a high for the day. Here we are going parallel to dark water and uh, down towards 61. Uh, at this point we're heading up into some single track. We've reached the edge of where we're allowed to ride. There's construction, they say active mining. It's not clear whether it's really mining. But, uh, so we'll take the single track as a little warm-up. You could probably get an ATV through here, but parts of it are definitely single track. And it's definitely rocky. Uh, this is a creek bed. Rocky enough to stop me, but that's what riding at FRO is all about. Lots of rocks. Here we are back on the main hall road. And we're going to turn here and head up to uh, Kelly's Hollow or Pond One. This used to be uh, the standard start because we'd park at the lower dark water lot. Here we are at, at Kelly's Hollow. There goes Misty up the hill. She clears it Charlie straight forward. And that's Joe. He's making it cleanly too. And this is Rob. And he runs out of momentum. Yep. Yeah. Okay, careful, Tom. Careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to need to just put it down. Yeah. It's a pretty steep, loose hill. It's not easy to get turned around on that. Saw that front wheel. Deja vu. Feels like I'm, we're watching uh, Tom on Tom. <laughs> but Rob's fine. The bike's fine. There are a couple trails off to the right that uh, FRO had opened and then closed off. I think they were too steep to be safely attacked. Uh, we'll take a look at them when we get up to the top. such a clear day you know just a couple clouds in the sky to make it look good this used to be a fairly narrow trail but I think they used it for logging so they widened it up and it took all the challenge out of it so now you just sort of blast up it
this section of trail used to be a hunting club and so it was off limits and FRO got the rights to open the trails up so uh, it adds a nice little section This is back on the Hall Road. Uh, we're heading down towards Pond 2, which is also known as Whimsy. It's a little drop down into uh, the area around the pond. Both of these ponds are man-made dam settlement ponds uh, from when it was mining. But it gives us a little bit of a challenge and then a nice place to take a break. This is the dam from the Whimsy Pond. And that's the spillway, which is pretty dry today. In fact, you can see some dust uh, coming off the wheels of, of the bikes ahead of us. This is another trail that was used for logging and, and is now very wide. Now they were running big trucks up, up and down this road. Surprisingly, we're actually going south right now. We're up at the north edge of the property, but heading south following this power line. And there's a little overlook that shows you across the valley. Now Jeff took us on some new trails today, uh, this section here. Um, I don't think I've been on it before. Pretty nice trails. Um, the leaf litter makes it a little hard to see exactly what you're riding over, but uh, we just take it easy. Put along. We've actually split. Uh, Jeff and Misty went looking for my GPS. They're backtracking our, our uh, trails. Somehow my the GPS fell off of my handlebar. So while they're doing that, we're just putting around in these uh, pine woods, seeing where the trails go. I don't think I've been back here in a number of years. Fairly flat, not, not very rutted. And a few few water logs areas, but uh, pretty nice riding actually. Don't know if you'd call this single track. It's more like no track.
interesting how flat this section of land is. I expect this was filled in after they'd done the uh, strip mining of this area. Because there's very little other land in this part of the county that's uh, this flat. I should have just jumped that log that's kind of silly to go around it. This area looks pretty unsurprising till you look over the edge of this berm. Tom can do it. Yeah, there's about a 150 foot ditch ravine there. I don't think so. You mean this steep or that steep? Well, I can't tell how steep. I'm not going to get any closer to that one. <laughs> it now, seems like you see some of them and they almost look like they're reversed. So we've got the whole crew together. Uh, and we're out looking for my GPS. Um, they said they'd backtrack all of the areas up by the power line so we're going to head up to the pond one and then up to the steep section with the two closed trails where you can see uh, Pottsville and all sorts of the surrounding area. So we're just sort of blasting up. With everybody looking, we should be able to find the GPS. It's it's about two inches in diameter and eight inches long. Should be fairly noticeable. This is where I stopped at, Kelly, at Kelly's Hollow to uh, watch the climbs. So now we're going to head off to the uh, section with the two steep trails. I decide not to finish and go up to the top. I'll just stay here. It's a bit of a challenge. I don't feel feel excited about it, but uh, most of the rest of the folks go up. And you probably can't see it, but Jeff is waving his arms, uh, probably announcing something. So we'll find out. Uh, as soon as he comes down the hill. Oh, 
That was in the last place you looked for it. Good there it is. No problem. Nice job. Nice, you just came it. It's right at the top. All right. Well, there we are. That was really great that they found it. Now we're going to head back uh, across the main hall road and go up to the trailhead, uh, which will give Jeff a chance to swap the batteries for his electric bicycle or electric motorcycle, whatever it is, it's electric. I should have gone up that hill a little faster. In fact, I should go up this hill a little faster. It's pretty rocky, but you can just roll on up it. So after our break, uh, I'm going to go down and try some single track that I have not tr tried in years, but I used to ride it fairly regularly, oh, five or six years ago. I am not very fast in single track. I'd sort of putt along dodging trees and stuff. I usually let other people uh, lead through here because I end up slowing down the whole crew, but they don't know where I'm going, so I'm going to lead for a while. Pretty neat trails. You can see some light through the trees because the valley's opening up fairly deeply there. I pull over and uh, both Misty and Jeff. You should lead. Now I thought the gray that we were coming down to was a hall road, but as we get closer it's getting wider and I realize it's actually a big sheet of off-camber shale. Um, I mean it's longer than a football field and maybe as wide as a football field. It's a big... Uh, Jeff is going off to the right, but uh, I remember a trail We went up this way. I remember. I said to him, I said, this is different. Yes. You want to try it? Yeah. Okay. So Misty and I are going to go off to the left, and Joe is going to join us. So we run out of the broad shale and come into a genuine little bit of single track.
Well, that was much better than last time. I agree. You had to save my butt last time. Last time, I think we had a pitcher yep. sitting on the bottom of that hill. Yep. We have no idea where we are. Well, that's okay. This goes down, and I think we can fade a little bit left. The parking lot's out that way. Yeah, the parking lot's out that way. So I don't really recognize the trail because it's been enough years, but the basic geography I understand. And then it's, we're going to come back onto the open haul road that goes down to the big RV parking lot. They do big RV events, um, fill up that parking lot. You want to try this one? Sure. Okay, you want to try that one? Not me. Oh, there's some neat uh, cliffs or entrance to a mine over in that valley. right on the edge of the big RV parking lot. This was all wooded um, years ago when we rode this before, but they cleared it out, I don't know, three or four years ago for the big RV events. And here's the trail we just entered on. This puts us on the main hall road, which is also called Greenbury Lane, coming up to the ancient drag line. It does look like they've moved a little bit of it. The feet are in a different position, and they've there's Tom sitting in the bucket for the drag line.
I can't remember if I've been up this trail or not, uh, so I'm going to give it a shot. It's really rocky. Wow. You can get down there. Yeah, I thought we were on that one. Go, go, go. Yeah. You want to go? I'll go some. So off, off to the right you can see a valley and a lake or pond. Um, and I thought we were on the on the access road to the lake, but clearly we're up on this ridge. So we'll see where it goes. Jeff is, is climbing. Nah. This is this is looking rocky. Um, Misty keep, follows Jeff, but I turn around. So while they're exploring, I'm just sort of looking around, seeing the sights. So this trail takes takes you down to into the valley and then there's an access road to get to the lake or pond. So this is the pond trail. And there's the pond with a little rocky beach. We're continuing on the Cross Valley Trail. It should go up. Uh, climb a little bit when it gets onto the northern side of the valley. And you can see a giant uh, shale or granite wall. Pretty obviously uh, cut by the mining operations in years past. Michael came down. Oh, I think you're right. I uh, think you're right. And that's uh, yep. all, all taters, no meat? Yep. I remember. This is it. Needless to say, I did not come down that hill that Mike Gucciardi uh, cut years ago. Oh, no. Oh, but I see this trail. At least there's now a bypass to it. In years past, you had to actually take that steep trail. It was pretty gnarly.
look so high, but it is. And it's steep. So Tom sees that, that steep uh, trail and decides it's a challenge and he's going to climb it. He clears it pretty directly, maybe even easily. Yeah. So this is just a cross valley trail or road. This is steep. I mean, this is really steep. and back to the parking lot. <laughs> 